Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Oracle Database 23C free developer release on Oracle Linux 8 operating system. So here you can see that I already configured Oracle Linux 8.7 uh, virtual mission in virtual box 7. So I am allocated uh, 8 GB RAM and 4 CPU cores. Uh, okay. So 4 GB RAM is enough and 2 CPU core is enough for this uh, Oracle Database 23C uh, developer release. And these are the binaries uh, which I have uh, downloaded. Let me highlight the binaries. So these two binaries Oracle Database free, Oracle Database pre install RPMs. So these two RPMs I have downloaded from Oracle website. So these RPMs are the dependencies uh, required by Oracle uh, Database RPMs. These RPMs are available in Oracle Linux 8.7 DVD ISO file itself. So no need to download from internet. It's available in Oracle Linux 8.7 DVD ISO file itself. Okay. Now let me show the settings. So in shared folders, I have mounted this uh, directory, which I have shown uh, right now, right? So I have mounted this uh, directory as a shared folder so that binaries will be available. So network adapter i have configured as a host only adapter i am not going to connect to the internet so everything is done offline only so let me start the virtual mission i am choosing the oracle kernel 4.18 so i have logged in as a current user let me show you something so this is a static ip address so Static IP address I have configured already and this is the disk space available okay this is the disk space available and this is the memory available okay so uh, Oracle database uh, free 23C will take only 2 GB RAM and it will consume only 2 CPU cores okay if you have more core or more memory also it will not uh, consume it will take only 2 gb ram and uh, 2 cpu core only okay next step is i am going to create one user called oracle so i am going to create one user called oracle so this uh, user creation oracle user creation is mandatory because software Oracle software will be installed by default as a oInstall Oracle user group and Oracle is a member of the oInstall group. So I have created the user called Oracle. Using this uh, user Oracle only, we are going to install and configure the database. Okay, so I am logging up the current user. So now login. So I log in as a user called Oracle. Okay, now what I am going to do, I am going to copy the RPM files which are in the mount directory to the local directory. So I have already uh, created one directory under slash opt directory. So I am copying this RPM to the slash opt directory. So all RPMs are copied. So these are the RPMs. So these two RPMs are downloaded from Oracle website. Rest of the RPMs are available in Oracle Linux 8.7 DVD ISO file itself. Okay. So now, first step is open the terminal, switch as a root user. So as a root user only you can install the RPMs. By installing the RPM. So first time installing the uh, dependencies. Okay, so these are the dependencies required by Oracle uh, binaries. 
so in single shot i am installing all the dependencies yes all the dependencies installed successfully next i am going to install oracle database pre install 23 crpm oracle database pre install 23 crpm so it's installed successfully next i am going to install oracle database free 23 crpm so this will install the oracle database 23 c so oracle database free 23 crpm is installed successfully and it's asking something to configure Oracle database free, originally modify the parameters in Oracle free 23 file. So I am opening this conf file in Vim editor. So these are the default settings. So I am not going to touch this uh, settings. Let it be as it is. Next I am going to run this configure command. So I am copying this configure command slash atc slash init.d slash oracle iphon free iphon 23c space configure okay once you run the command it will ask for the password provide the password in alpha numeric characters so this will be the password for sys system and pdb admin accounts okay so oracle database configuration is started So Oracle database 23C uh, configuration is completed. So these are the final information. So free is the container database name and free PDB is the free PDB one is the pluggable database name. Okay, so two databases is configured. One is container database and another one is pluggable database. So you can see the log here. So I highlighted the path. Okay, uh, so by default Oracle will be installed in the slash opt directory only. You can see that uh, under slash opt slash Oracle directory only all the components will be installed. Let me go to the explorer, file explorer. Go to computer and go to opt directory. So you can see the Oracle directory is got created. Under the Oracle directory you can see all the components and configurations are installed. And this is the oracle home directory db home free right this directory is the oracle home directory and this bin directory contains a lot of executables and shell script file so it contains uh, tools like sql plus so next up is uh, we are going to add this uh, oracle home directory and bin directory to the uh, path variable that is environment variable we are going to set so i am going to open dot bash underscore profile so here i am going to configure some environment variables so that all the executables under bin directory will be available in the path so make sure that uh, you have typed everything correctly to avoid the typo or spelling mistake Type error or spelling mistake. So make sure that everything is correct. So this is the syntax for export path. Okay, save it. So we have set the environment variables. So there are many environment variable uh, you can uh, configure, but Oracle underscore home is a very basic thing. So I have configured the oracle underscore home uh, environment variable in bash underscore profile. Okay. So I am going to log off this uh, oracle user and I am going to log in once again. So I have logged in once again uh, in order to uh, environment variable to take effect. So in order to load the latest uh, profile settings, I have logged off and logged in once again. Okay, now I am going to 
connect to the database via SQL plus and this is the command to connect to the free container database okay as uh, sys as sys dba using SQL plus okay so provide the password which I have uh, which you have provided uh, during the database configuration okay so I can able to connect to the Oracle database 23 C free I can able to run the query okay next let me open another tab now I am going to connect to the pluggable database okay now I am going to connect to the pluggable database yes I can able to connect to the pluggable database via SQL plus so container database also I can able to connect pluggable database also I can able to connect okay okay next step what I am going to do So I am logging as a root user, I mean I am switching as a root user, I am going to configure the firewall, okay. So I am adding the port 1521 to the firewall database so that I can access the database outside this virtual machine, okay. So I am executing another command firewall cmd reload okay this will reload the configurations okay so you can access the database outside this virtual machine also so this is ip address okay this is ip address we are going to connect okay from host machine so let me go to windows host machine so I am going to open the SQL developer 2022 that is latest SQL developer as of now so I am going to create one new connection database connection First step, I am going. First, uh, I am going to connect to the container database. That is free database name called free. Sys as sys DBA and password is uh, same as whatever I provided during the configuration. Host name is the IP address. of the oracle linux 8 virtual machine sid will be free so sid free means it's a container database yes uh, connection is successful yes i can able to connect to the container database Yes, I can able to execute some queries uh, in SQL developer. Okay, uh, next I am going to connect the pluggable database. Next I am going to connect the plug pluggable database from SQL developer. SysSysDBA. So, I am SysSysDBA. Password is same as whatever I have given during the database configuration IP address of the virtual machine and here I am selecting the service name for pluggable database you need to select the service name free pdb1 is the name of the pluggable database ok test connection is successful yes I can able to connect to the pluggable database running in oracle linux 8.7 okay 
let me execute the same query yes everything is fine so finally uh, we have set up the oracle database 23c free uh, developer release on oracle linux 8.7 virtual machine so i have configured uh, container database and pluggable database and also i can able to connect from uh, sql developer which is running on windows host machine so Please read the description of this video for more information and download links.